Ryan Mason having to handle questions he could well do without, but the questions are on everybody's lips because the speculation is out there that Harry Kane does want to leave and then there are a queue of clubs that are ready to take him, Jamie. Do you think this will be his last game uh, for Spurs at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium? Well, it's not a foregone conclusion that he's going to go, that's for sure, because Daniel Levy is a very difficult man to negotiate with. So whoever wants to buy him, they're going to have to pay top dollar. It might have to be a case of maybe a loan swap as well with some players that, you know, maybe that might be a way that to, can entice Daniel Levy to maybe come to the table. You know, he's one of the best players in the world, one of the best strikers in world football. They're valuable commodities. Daniel's going to want 100 million plus, And that takes out a lot of teams. So you can only think about, in, in England right now, Chelsea, Man City and Manchester United are probably the three. I'd love to, I'd love to see my, my old team Liverpool go for him. Whether they've got the money right now, I don't know their financial situation. But if I was, you know, there's, we, we, he's already obviously spoken to clubs. We have to make that apparent. because Or his, or his representatives. Representatives have. have. Because they, you wouldn't come out or his agents wouldn't come out and say that Harry's not happy to club and he wants to go. Now, he is a Tottenham legend. He will always be a Tottenham legend. Maybe not if he goes to Chelsea, because that won't go down too well with the fans. Does that leave two possibilities then? Well, possibly. And I think... Right now, if it, I can just picture him in that Man City team with De Bruyne, with Foden, playing up front, getting chance after chance after chance and winning trophies, working with one of the great managers ever to work in football. So I if, think it would be a good move for him. So if the intent is there from Harry Kane, and, and we can only stress what Ryan Mason said, that it is only speculation at this moment in time, Micah, but that is what we are led to believe. If the intention is there from Harry to leave, if the intention is there from these clubs to take him, how much is it going to take and how likely is it that Manchester City or Manchester United are going to be prepared to pay that money I, at this time? I, I, exactly that. I, I think it all comes down to how much the, the, the price is. Well, if it's well, 100 million, could you see City doing that? 100 million? You know, I don't want to talk on behalf of Man City, Man City and Man United. I think 100 million, the, they could do. When you start talking about 150 million, it, it, it makes no sense to do that. He's, what, 27, 28? You've got Haaland, who's, what, 20, 21? Like, that's a bigger investment for, for the club because you're going to get so many years. With Harry Kane, you're going to get ready-made success. You know, the problems he's had with his ankles and, and, and whatnot. But I think he's best suited to Man United. I know Cavani signed an extension there for, for you a You're a striker, though, Micah. Well, yes, I, I agree with that, but 150 million, Jay, is too much. 150 million... In this year, after the pandemic, all what's everything's happened, 150 million is too much money. Do you think, Jamie, that is what Daniel Levy will be banking on? Well, the fact that no one will be prepared that, to pay Daniel what he Levy, wants for he's him. probably done, tried to do a swap and get Foden and De Bruyne. He's probably <laughs> asked for that. I mean, that, that's Steady, a, I'm, I'm that's not fully like that. Listen, that's the sort of thing you would say. Trust me. Um, I don't know, but that, he's going to want top money. I mean, this is the biggest summer, probably, of Daniel Le Daniel Levy's tenorship as, as the chairman. They've got no manager right now. Well, their, their star player is going to be leaving. I mean, what a summer he's got ahead of him. He's got to get this right. <laughs> he's he's the programme notes he's, today, he's, Jamie. Already really something, you know, he's got some massive decisions to make. Let, me, let, me tell you what, let me tell you what he said today in his programme notes. Um, really interesting. He doesn't talk about the European Super League, though some would say he addressed that previously. He doesn't mention Harry Kane either. But he does say, we have not met our raised expectations on the pitch. We are absolutely clear that central to our ambitions is a successful football team. And he says that I feel we lost sight of some key priorities mm. through uh, delivering the stadium and dealing with the, with the, the pandemic and on a new coach he talks about the wish to return to playing football with a style for which we are known which is free-flowing attacking and entertaining he says best case scenario who could they get as a manager yes it's not that easy I mean Graham Potter's been linked Scott Parker's been linked uh, the interesting one for me that might be something that he'll look at is Roberto Martinez it is, he's already said he's going to be leaving his job in the summer for Belgium Good manager, play good football, attacking football, that might be an option. But there, there are, there's not an abundance of managers out there. There's not managers who haven't gone to Spurs and I want this one, I want that one. It's very difficult. They went down the Mourinho route to try and win trophies. It hasn't worked. But the most important thing is get the right manager, but also keep your best players. And that's why I think Daniel Levy's got a massive predicament ahead of him. He, you know, because otherwise, his position becomes mm. you know, questionable. Because when managers don't do well, they get sacked. His tennis has not been good enough. He stresses, again, in his, his programme notes that the ambition is to return to 
the Champions League and, and hopefully one day to be contesting a finals as well. But to do it playing free-flowing, attacking and entertaining football, it sounds like a heck of a job for someone. But, but they had that under Pochettino. You said they lost sight of, of you know, with this new stadium and, and, and getting the best out on the pitch. You've gone from Pochettino who's gone to a Champions League final. And I heard various Spurs fans, not all of them, saying he's took us as far as he can. And look at him now. Look, look at where Spurs now. They've got a beautiful stadium. And now the, 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 main, the main player of the team potentially wants to go. And, that, and then you've got to rebuild. So there the might be five, five, ten years back from where they should have been. Let's talk about a couple of others. Do you think we've seen the last of Gareth Bale? Well, he's, he's obviously on big money bail. Um, he didn't light up the way I expected him because he didn't get the chance from Mourinho. I think if he would have been playing more, you see what he can do when he plays. He, he, he scores goals. But if you lose Kane and Bale in one... Se- no disrespect. Spurs could be top ten next season. And what about Deli Ali as well? Do you agree with what Jamie had to say on Sunday that essentially there is a talent there? And he needs to be nurtured? That's exactly what he does. He needs to be nurtured. You don't become a bad player overnight. Look, he, I think what, what he scored 16, 17 goals in his, uh, one of his earlier seasons. Yeah, yeah. He, he's, he's got absolutely everything. As a young player, sometimes you lose your focus. Sometimes you get a little ahead of yourself. And, and sometimes a manager could be a is fresh not, start is not, for him not then, you 25 and, and could be a fresh start. Exactly that. And that's where he is now. But I, I have no doubt there's, there's quality in there. But... You've got to get him on the pitch first. And once he's on the pitch, he can show what he can do. I, I don't buy, I buy into the, the fact that, oh, he's not good enough anymore. That, that's absolute nonsense. You don't become a bad player. He's, he's, what, three years, you know, when he first came on, everyone's like, wow. How much but was he's he? Got, well, he's got so three or four years ago, he was one of the most, the most expensive midfield players in Europe. Right now, you get him for probably a snip. But I, I said it the other day, he needs to come back next pre-season, fly, or this pre-season flying. Look, watch the Euros and think, I should be there. And if he does, he's got every chance of resurrecting his career. If he doesn't, we'll see, he'll just go through the motions for the next four or five years, earn loads of money, but he's better than that. 